water is everywhere. Exploring the distribution of water on Earth. Our planet is about 71% covered in water. Where can all that water be found? Let's dive in and find out. What do you know about water? First and foremost, there is the same amount of water on Earth as there was when the Earth was formed. The water from your faucet could contain molecules that dinosaurs drank. Secondly, water is composed of two elements, hydrogen and oxygen. Two hydrogen, one oxygen, H2O. Now we're going to differentiate between salt water from fresh water. Salt water. Firstly, salt water carries electrical signals which give spark to life. Secondly, humans can't drink salt water. Third, salt water takes carbon dioxide out of the air. Now let's talk about fresh water. Only 3.5% of the Earth's weight R is fresh water. Water has its three forms, first in liquid form, which is found in ocean, second in solid form, which can be found in ice, last third in a gas form, which is in clouds or water vapor form. Now, where is salt water found? Salt water is usually found in ocean or in a sea. Also, where is fresh water found? Fresh water is found in lakes, rivers, or near glaciers. Saltwater slight basic or with a pH level of around 8. And in freshwater, neutral or with a pH level of around 7. Saltwater freezes at 2 degrees Celsius 28 degrees Fahrenheit. Freshwater freezes out of 0 degrees Celsius 32 degrees Fahrenheit. Also, saltwater is high levels of salt and minerals. And freshwater low levels of salt and minerals. Distribution of waters. Around 95.5% is salt water. Is 2.5% fresh water? Yes. Others are just 1%. Water covers 71% of Earth's surface, and almost at 96.5% is just salt water. And about 3% of the Earth's water is fresh water, but only 1.2% of that can be used for our drinking. The remaining 2.5% is locked in ice, the ground, the atmosphere. Freshwater is found in 68.6% .6 are found on ice caps and glaciers 30.1% are groundwaters 1.3% are in the form of fog or snow. A sip from your Weight R bottle tells you that water is a liquid, but water also exists as a solid and a gas. There's also water we can't always see. That's in groundwater exists in cracks, pores, and fractures. Can you spot water as a solid, liquid, and gas in this clip? First is gas, second is iced, third is liquid. Why is water important? First, it's a lifeblood of ecosystems. Rivers provide vital fresh water for countless plants and animals, creating diverse habitats and supporting vibrant ecosystems. Fish thriving in flowing currents and migratory birds rely on these watery highways. It shapes the land over millennia. Rivers have carved valleys, shaped landscapes, and created breathtaking natural wonders like canyons and deltas. Recreation rivers offer a bounty of recreational activities, from peaceful kayaking and fishing to adrenaline-pumping whitewater rafting. Imagine families picnicking, kids splashing, and kayakers navigating exciting rapids. Cradle of history. Rivers have served as transportation routes for people and goods for thousands of years. Source of power. The force of flowing water has been harnessed for centuries to generate hydroelectric power. Food 
resource rivers nourish farms and sustain agriculture by providing water for irrigation. Vast farmlands bloom thanks to rivers, feeding communities and shaping economies across the globe. Cultural Tapestry Rivers hold deep cultural significance for many communities, weaving their way into myths, stories, and spiritual beliefs. Imagine indigenous rituals performed on riverbanks, festivals celebrating the river's bounty, and communities drawing cultural identity from their watery lifeline. Climate regulators' rivers play a crucial role in regulating climate by transporting water, influencing temperatures, and shaping weather patterns. I guess we have got enough reasons why water is important. Quick recap. Our planet is about 71% covered in water. Where can all that water be found? Only 3.5% of the Earth's water is freshwater. Water cover as 71% of Earth's surface, and almost all of it 96.5% is salt water.